again, I, ta I talk to every single player and I ask them about, you know, what they're doing at training. They were talking about how they worked on combining around the outside of the box to set up a shot from outside of the box. And this reminds me of a talk that I had at my NSCAA Premier Diploma from Mike Noonan, who is the head coach at Clemson. He broke down zone 14. He broke down zone 14 and what he called the gold standard of how and where goals were created. And the best part of the lecture was he, he showed a video of every 2010 World Cup goal. And he showed us all of, you know, where the buildup was and where where the, the final pass came from. And almost 95% of it was from, the, from zone 14 and the gold standard. And then they show out wide near the touch line is where possession is. And you don't cross from those places. You just, you just keep, uh, keep possession around there and try to infiltrate the gold standard in zone 14. Then he ended up showing every single box entry from the United States men's national team in that same World Cup. And all of a sudden you see, you see crosses from outside where the possession area is and outside of zone 14 and crosses and just balls that have zero, zero chance. And here again is, is really a look at what Mike Noonan was talking about. And he even told me that at his field at Clemson, he actually has the different areas of the field uh, painted in different colors. Right here is zone 14. So all this is where a lot of the goals are created. Passes are coming from, from this area here, but also they come from this area. And this is where he focuses on his team and where they cross the ball. And he calls this the gold standard. Then you have all this area, and that is for possession. All for possession. Yet in the United States case, all of their crosses, and this is a hilarious video, all their crosses were coming from out here and their shots were coming from out here. Rather than getting into zone 14, getting into the gold standard, and then breaking down your opponent. A lot of times when you watch pro soccer, okay, using on this side, you see players get all the way into here and then slot, be able to slot a ball back. Or they are looking to combine in and around the box and getting in. Yeah, from what my player was saying is that they would look to combine from here into here to set up shots from out here and you wonder why we we struggle at the international level it's because we develop players to think that way at a young age and when i tell a kid that like okay well if you're crossing from the goal, from the touch line that's that's not a highly a high chance of scoring a goal off of it and people look at me like i'm crazy but then you watch actual pro soccer and what Mike Noonan said was right. You need to get into the gold standard. You need to get into the zone 14 and then look to get into goal. And it goes back to my chart of, of this year's World Cup in Russia where I tracked 35 straight goals and only two were from outside the 18. But all of our shooting practices in youth soccer are from 20, 24, 25 yards out.